Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another video. First of all, I just want to start off by saying sorry that there hasn't been a lot of content out recently on my channel. Uh, we've been going through a heat wave and I just have not been in the mood to uh, work either on dioramas uh, for too long or do any video recording just because it's so hot and sticky in my apartment. With that stated today, what I want to do is talk a little bit about how to unstick locked joints on your action figures uh, or how to straighten out uh, limbs like your arms and legs on action figures. Um, so I'm going to be using Black Panther here to demonstrate that. Um, so let's get into it. So one of the first things you want to do when you take your figure out of the package is you want to test the joints uh, on the figure just to see if they're loose. Um, you don't want them too loose, but you also don't want them to be completely stuck. Um, so I tend to start off with the head and I move the head up and down and side to side just to make sure that it, uh, it moves pretty well and it's pretty stiff enough so it holds in place. Uh, on this Black Panther, um, the actual left shoulder here was pretty stuck. Uh, it's movable now, uh, but when I first got it, I couldn't even budge it. What a lot of people tend to do, uh, if they don't know any better, is that they'll try to force it and they will actually shear off the pegs on the inside of the joint, uh, which ruins your you know, $35 figure you just bought. Um, so what I tend to do is one of two methods. Uh, one is to take the figure and uh, run it under some hot water uh, from your tap. Um, so you would just hold the specific part, so in this uh, instance the joint here for the shoulder, uh, under that hot water uh, for maybe 30 seconds to a minute and then take it out and see if you can budge it. Uh, if it doesn't budge, again do it again and keep working at it. The only problem I have with doing this technique is that you're running your fingers basically under hot water. Uh, and it's hard to hold the figure while you're doing that. Plus, you don't just hit the one joint. You tend to get more than just that joint. Uh, and you don't want to overheat these because you don't want to melt the plastic or anything like that uh, with it. Um, once the joint's given, then you can take it out and just dry it off. Um, you can use that same aspect if the arm or the leg is uh, warped. Uh, so if it's bent up, you can put it under the hot water, bend it into shape, uh, and then put it into like if you have a glass of cold water dunk the glass dunk the arm or the leg into that cold water and that will stiffen up the plastic really quick and it will hold its shape you might have to do it a few times in order to to get it to work um, but that's how you would do it via the water technique um, the technique i typically like to use um, on my figures is to use a hair dryer um, and so what you would do is you would grab your hair dryer, and I happen to have one right here. Uh, I am not gonna plug it in and turn it on just cause it's gonna be way too loud. Uh, but again, you would hit whatever joint it is that you have and just keep moving the character or the figure around so you're hitting that joint. Um, I do it on high and I do it in short bursts. Um, and then I'll go in, like I said, just a little, like the water, and I will actually move the joint back and forth until I feel like it's actually given, uh, and it's moving the way it's supposed to be. Um, you're not so much going to get your fingers hot on this, because definitely on uh, the joints, because you can hold farther down on the figure to get that, but you also want to make sure you're focusing the air on just the joint that you want on it. Again, you don't want to melt the plastic. You don't want to loosen up any other joints. Um, with that um, you may be asking well why would a joint be stuck um, sometimes it's just the plastic fuses while it's in the actual um, box that it comes in sometimes it's paint that has dried inside the joint which is sticking it um, and by heating it up it releases that so you can actually move it around um, this like I said this figure had the left shoulder um, my Deadpool back from black, um, his leg was completely stiff so I couldn't move it past here. Um, this one, if you can see, can go pretty far. 
Um, so I had to use that same technique with the hair dryer to loosen uh, him up. Um, so yeah guys, that's how you can safely loosen up a joint on your figure uh, without breaking your brand new figure. Because uh, I think we've all been there where we've been like, ah, I can just push a little bit more and it'll be fine. And the next thing you know, you're holding an arm in your hand and the body in the other hand. Uh, and really peeved off that you just broke your brand new figure. Um, that's it, guys. That was just a quick little tutorial that I wanted to give you guys on what you can do uh, to unstick the joints. Um, I will be hopefully getting a, a review up of this guy soon. Uh, and I will hopefully have a review up of uh, my Deadpool Back from Black uh, figure as well. Uh, and again, apologize for not getting a lot of content out lately. It's been way too hot. Just haven't been in the mood to do it. I'm hoping that as the heat wave starts to subside, I'll get back into doing some more videos for you guys. Because I do like uh, making these videos. I do like showing you what I've been working on. Uh, and I hope that you guys enjoy uh, the videos that I put together here for you. Anyway, as always guys, stay nerdy.